What's going on, Dale? Just replacing the fuel lines. It's a bit hot today. A bit hot, yeah. new chain's arrived, Magnus has just gone to get it. We were going to go on the poles today, but there's too much wind, so we're going to have to put the chain on in the marina. It's going to be fun. That's not chain. <laughs> that doesn't look like chain, that looks like... No, no, the anchor's there. Oh, wow, beauty. This is so the, you changed this is anchor. Anti -fowl. Yep. And these are flares. Oh, cool. Out of life raft, so and got lots of expiry left, but not enough to put back in the life ah, raft. Yeah. And um, different anchor. Yeah, we've gone the Rockna um, Vulcan. We've gone to the other side, the dark side. Mm. Yeah, we've always been Manson Supreme people. Yeah. But uh, we're going the Rockna. It's a bit like the Holden um, Ford thing. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I'm going to go and have a look at it. Anything to You've say? You've got to aim the ears, otherwise, all the sound's going to be in the right ear. Like that, That's you it. Mean? Yeah. What a beauty. Shiny. Very neat looking. It doesn't have the bar, but it should fit in there a bit better. A bit neater. Not get caught up. Let's paint the chain under some cardboard so we can paint the chain. Ah, oh, good thinking. I think I That's a bit clever getting flares. Well, the expiry's into the year 23. Uh, into this year, so. Oh, fantastic. Perfect for Indo. Yeah. That will cover us for the first set, the first legs. All right. It's going to be a big operation in a minute. I found a home for the old chain. Oh, nice. Em and Shan. Oh really? Yeah. Don't they have a chain? Yeah, but it's, you said it might be old, so this one's brand new. Yeah, it is. Nice, okay. There's the bitter end. That's going to a good home. Lovely young couple from New Cruises. They're going to get the chain, so that's good. Will you put that shackle on the other one? Oh no, there's going to be. Oh right. What new shackles there? On the chain. New chain. Oh lovely. We're supposed to be going um, up on the greening poles today, but last night. Magnus checked the weather and it was 20 knots plus and another mate who'd gone on the poles yesterday was coming back and uh, so we thought okay well we check to see we're gonna we'll go but we'll see what the weather's doing in the morning and woke up at five this morning got ready to go check the weather it's worse so now we're here we're not going on the poles we're not painting nutshells bottom we're not going to check the prop because we need to change the prop it's too big with the new engine so we're going to be here. So we've turned the boat around and now we can do some work on the bowsprit and a few other of the jobs on board. So yeah, full steam ahead with boat jobs and order some material for the cockpit uh, from Sarright and that should be coming in the next week or so. So I'll be really busy making new cockpit cushions because our fabric that we got in Mexico, sort of as an interim, um, is pretty dead now needs replacing and fabric in Mexico has 100% duty on it because it's they have a big textile industry in Mexico so it wasn't really viable to buy umbrella in Mexico plus it costs an incredible amount of money so 
we've got it now and I'm looking forward to making the cushions. We're going to modify them a bit so they're a bit smaller, easier to store when they're not outside. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that job. So yeah. It's very shiny. Very shiny. Beauty. You've got instructions. Wow. Nice. Is this an unboxing? <laughs> yeah, when you anchor. I suppose it is. So what made you change? Uh, these fit on the bass bricks. Oh, so that was the main reason, not the holding or anything. And the whole well. They've got a good reputation. Yeah. Very curvy. That Marilyn Monroe sort of feel to it. Yeah. Well, there's a lot more volume in that chain and there's a lot less length because it's 10 mil instead of less than 10 mil that's a lot more metal yeah. and it's a lot shorter chain isn't it no no than the original yeah <laughs> nice system reminds me of panama Ten meters. So ten of them. Well, twelve of them. How's that? How's that? That looks. Uh, I reckon you could go another. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, yeah. Last one. What's the plan now? Um, to set up the. Where are you? Set up the bitter end. Oh yeah. So this is my anchor recovery system. In case we ever have a scenario again where, for some unforeseeable reason, we lose all our chain overboard. What I'm going to do, this bit here ties onto the boat, this onto the chain, so as soon as the chain gets to the end it breaks these ties and all this rope goes overboard, hopefully peeling out of the centre beautifully. Uh, it's floating rope, there's 150 metres on here, um, so we should be able to find our anchor again. Just because we can. One for each end. Looking very cosy, though. Oh, just scared the jeepers out of me. Sorry. I thought I can't miss this. That stuff will be really good on there. One coat or two? Oh, one coat heaps. Have you ever used that paint for this before? No. I think this will last better than the spray. 
What's going on, girl? <laughs> a bit of an Which, unboxing? <laughs> a bit of an unboxing. We just had delivery. This is how flash we are these days. We just had delivery of our new ice maker. We've never, ever even contemplated something as flash fabulous as this. But now that we've got a bit more power on the boat, we yeah, buying no, a few electrical items. This one was recommended. This one is enormous. I have no idea where we're going to put that. Keep the box in case we have to put it It's so big. It's huge. It could go in there. We'll get it in there. Yeah, yeah. I didn't expect it to be that big. Did you? No. I thought it would be like a poster. Oh, that's huge. Oh, Jesus. Mind you, if we'd known it was that big, we wouldn't have ordered it and we wouldn't have it. So no. we've got it, which is a good thing. Ah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Give me a little ice scoop. All right. We now are the proud owners of an ice maker. <laughs> oh, no, no, look. Is there ice in there? Here it goes. <gasps> Where? Oh, there it is. We've got ice. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, that's really good. We're keeping, keeping up with the Joneses now. Yeah, we have ice. I think every other boat we've ever been on has an ice machine. Wouldn't you say, babe? That's pretty... Majority, yeah. 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 So now we have one too. Pretty exciting. <laughs> so every eight minutes it makes a little cup full of ice. Oh, perfect. It's even got its own little scoop. Oh, I think the ice chips that it made earlier are already good Oh, it's very warm here. Better put some drink in. What are you up to, sweetie? I am just cleaning out the cupboards, checking um, our provisioning list and updating it to see what we've got left so that I can work out what we need to buy to go to Indo. This is the last shelf that I've had to sort. <laughs> so, uh, don't think we need to buy much. No, <laughs> we still have a lot of stuff left. A lot of stuff. I'm going to make new cockpit cushions because they're a bit dead. And this arrived yesterday. It's a new fabric. So I'm just going to open it up and see what it looks like. Oh, that's really nice. So we went for stripes again. We like stripes. Keep the boat jolly. Yeah, so it's umbrella. And over the next week or so, I will be replacing the cushions. So this is going to be, I'm just going to take the cover off that one. That can be the first one to test um, to make sure I've got my pattern right. Mine's ordered some leather for his leather work and zips. So I ordered number five for all the cushions because this time I'm going to put zips on them so we can wash them. And we've got a few other bits. Oh yeah, clips because it's umbrella and it's hard to pin it. A few pens, markers, and um, oh, that's more leather for Magnus. Cool. One more box. This one should have all the threads in it and bits and pieces. So I got a big spool of the white because we can use that for sail repairs. And I've just got some very heavy duty gold for his leather work and various uh, D rings, um, needles, the zips, zip things for that, and sticky tape stuff. And pretty much. Oh, and oh, oh, a wine voucher. Um, yeah. So really, needles and shackle, uh, D rings and zip things, and yeah, that's pretty much that. Cool. And this looks interesting. Ah, oh, a drill cutter. Because man has ordered a hand drill press. So let's see if I can find that. And. Um, a grommet die set. I think that's about it. 
and one more thread that was hiding in the bottom of the long box. So that's a, a V138. This is supposed to be a V138. It is. Looks quite different. Hmm. Ah, so these are all the um, grommets. Cool. So we've got brass grommets as well. Another catalogue. Okay, so we've got two catalogues. Right, better get started. This is the first piece. And this piece dictates everything. So I've put it off a bit because I want to get it square. But I think I've made my decision. And this time we're going to cut this long cushion into two. So, uh, yeah, loving the fabric. It's really very jolly. First piece all marked out. Time to cut it with a hot knife. 